these are best opening traps in chess part 2 for beginners and even for intermediate players more than 50,000 players have already fallen into the trap in Lee chess database and if I talk about the chess.com then number would be higher so stay tuned till the end because you never know that this trap is coming for you so without further ado let's dive straight into this wonderful trap the first one the first one starts with this d4 you would have seen this d4 idea many times and now you don't know how to deal with this situation so we push d5 and c4 this is the queen's gambit and if you really accept in the previous video I showed you this line and this is the part 2 so if you haven't watched the part 1 you are most welcome to watch that the trap is really amazing so if you capture you can never save this pawn I already talked about that in the video so after this we are not going to capture and we push this e5 and this is the Albin counter gambit and if you capture with this pawn then we are coming with the queen and this is uh, equal game for white and black if you just play the knight move I can just capture here and once you develop the knight using the fact okay this pawn is pinned you can never capture then I can also pin this knight and this is an equal game for you you would have to trade the queens after this queen capture or if you capture with the knight then we can just develop the knight and the game would be pretty much equal once you trade here we can just no we can just capture with the bishop also and once you're in the structure of this pawn we can just capture here and you don't need to go for the trade now because now this pawn is under attack and you can just develop the bishop develop the knight and this is a wonderful game for black so white doesn't want to continue with this c takes d5 and you would see this pawn takes e5 this looks logical that in the next move if you really capture here then your queen would be hanging that's the white's main idea so now you want to advance this pawn and why this move is important you take away this knight square and this knight is not coming into the game for the moment so you would see there are many lines played here you can play this knight jumping here and this is the absolute best move but still you can do well after this knight is coming here we protect this pawn you want to jump with the knight these are the theoretical ideas you come here and come here to attack this pawn we can also do the same knight is jumping here and once you develop this knight on b3 we can just jump on this f5 square protect the pawn and you would see uh, there are many possibilities you have to push this e4 if you really want to continue this way this game in a very outstanding way so this e4 is really a wonderful move and you capture on percent and that that is the way to go for black and white but after this after this capture if you push the pawn there is another amazing line you want to push this pawn directly challenge this pawn okay if you really capture then you will mess up your pawn structure and queen check and your king will be stuck in the center and you will definitely do bad with white so after this pawn push we have this amazing move with the bishop and now we are just checking it you cannot dwell up with the knight because I will just capture the free pawn and your pawn structure is really bad and this check is also coming so obviously you want to play with this bishop and block the diagonal so you don't have time to capture because your bishop is hanging but surprisingly we can just take this pawn and you offer this bishop so what is the main idea you will have to go for the bishop otherwise all the moves are just losing okay you can also play with the pawn capture but you just messed up your pawn structure and we can have some of the checks and we can also eliminate this bishop and this would be a wonderful game for you but after this if you really accept this bishop then we first deliver a check and now the fun starts you the problem is that you can never capture this because now your queen is hanging and you will lose the queen for free so this is never happening and you would have to play the king move and protecting and keeping an eye on this queen and if you really think okay you can just 
deliver a check and pick up then you are not this is not an idea because knight is just jumping here and this is really bad so we want to capture this and deliver a check with the knight this comes with a check so you don't want you don't have this queen move a king move here because again the queen is hanging so you would say okay just play the king back but what happens if you really capture with the rook then you get this bishop check and now your queen is lost so you play any of the moves you are just lost and bishop takes or the queen takes both are just good and you can just capture it and the game is winning for you so after this you don't want to capture the knight and you want to play this move but we have some checks and once you deliver a check if you don't want to lose the rook by pushing the pawn because this comes with a trick and we can win this and you are surely losing this game so after this you want to move the king and once you move the king this is pretty much awesome and you can just uh, play the knight move a uh, waiting move because we want to deliver some of the checks with the queen here or here so you want to ch exchange the queens because this is the perfect move we deliver the check and once you block it i can just capture here and you are you would say okay you can also capture this knight and then we capture this pawn bishop is under attack once you save the bishop now the bishop is coming into the game slicing this wonderful diagonal this queen is uh, doing a great job and now this knight is jumping here if you play the king to this c file and the rook is also joining the attack so you would not be able to just save this game with white and white is completely crushed because of the attack and this knight can also jump here to here to fork many of the pieces so this game is pretty much lost for white and if i talk about this is minus eight and this is not playable obviously but you have to keep on attacking and you will definitely win the game so moving on to the second trap which starts with e4 c5 this is the sicilian defense you would have encountered this d4 pawn captures and pawn push not many times but still this is coming for you sometimes and white just gave up a pawn for the rapid development and now we want to play the knight move we also want to develop our pieces after we play some of the important moves now this queen is coming uh, slicing this diagonal and also this keeping an eye on this bishop in some cases knight can move and attack this bishop but we have castle now this knight is coming into the game and you don't want to push the pawn to attack this knight obviously we can just take and the problem is that uh, the bishop is hanging and the knight is also under attack so you don't want to capture with the knight as yes, the queen captures and you don't have a decisive attack because all the pawns are pretty much protected in the center and you will lose the game and this is surely good for black so you would see this queen move is also playable and you would see why because developing the queens and keeping an eye on this pawn and also uh, going for this pawn push maybe or you can play this queen move here so i will talk about both the moves and after this move we can play a very cunning move threatening some of the checkmating ideas but obviously this is not a checkmate because knight is already protecting the square this trap will not work many times but obviously this is a wonderful trap and you must know this so after you push this pawn this is the blunder of this game why this is a blunder because now your knight is jumping here and that's the beauty of this trap because the knight is now jumping to attack your knight and attack the queen so once you save the queen let's say we will just deliver the wonderful checkmate we can deliver a check and once you capture with the pawn we can deliver this stunning checkmate and this is very tricky to play so after this if you really capture this knight this is straight away checkmate you already know and you will win the game so this trap is not working uh, many times but you can surely get the idea why this trap works i will also show you another line when this queen is coming to the other square we can also trick our opponent by playing this knight move again the best move here is to play the knight move and don't react to this knight because there is no checkmating ideas on this square knight is nicely defending the pawn and you have to play this knight here to this square whereas this queen 
but again if you make the same mistake by pushing the pawn this time again the knight is jumping here attacking this queen and also attacking the knight we want we just want to remove the defender of this square and that's it you play any of the move and you are just lost so if you really capture we already know this is a checkmate in one and you can deliver this stunning checkmate now let's move to the third trap which is also wonderful you want to play with white pieces and we have to push the pawn and you would have seen this scandinavian defense many times and now if you capture you have to go for the main line and now we can play a very cunning move with this knight says so okay you, we are just offering a free pawn so once you capture this knight is now jumping here to attack this pawn and this trap is very well known to many of the players so you would see this knight is now coming to protect this and we want to challenge this pawn and black doesn't want to protect this isolated pawn so you just want to capture it and bishop capture is really good and you would see this comes with a trick but this trap can easily get into a bad position after you just play the knight move and you are playing absolutely best move because you protect the queen and why protecting the queen is really good in this trap because you would see let's say you don't protect the queen and you play the pawn push let's challenge this knight then you are simply lost because we can just sacrifice this knight attacking the queen and attacking the rook so you want to capture it with the king and once you capture we play the very wonderful move and we don't allow this king to go to the same square and we just win the queen for free so once you come here we can just win the queen and this game is pretty much lost so that is the idea behind this why you have to develop the knight and there is another move also and if you really want to play with black you should develop this knight here and white doesn't have anything because your move will not work let's see i will show you after you come here and if you really want to sacrifice the knight this will not work because after this bishop this king accept the sacrifice you play any of the check this will not work because king captures or the pawn capture is also good pawn capture and you don't have anything because knight is already protecting the queen there is another line too after this if your opponent plays this then this is really lost but what happens if you play this pawn push and want to fink it or this bishop then again it is a good for white but not straight away win you would see this knight is coming here and attacking the queen and attacking this so again if you really capture with the king then a we can just deliver a check and prevent this don't deliver a check from here uh, because king can just go back and that is the problem so again this would work let me show you let's we can go here and now we threaten the queen and the king so e6 might be played and after e6 we can just go here but this will not work because if you really capture here then the bishop check is coming and you are also losing the queen so this is ob obviously better for white but you don't want to lose the queen in this fashion by delivering a check from the other side so delivering a check from this side is really good and you prevent this king to go there and once you capture we can capture the queen and we can surely win the game so how was the video i will be waiting for your comment and if you really want to enjoy this free content on facebook like my 6 subscribers are already enjoying you get the premium membership by clicking the link in the description and obviously this video will be uploaded after one day premium membership enjoys this wonderful video so if you want the early access to this video then subscribe this page on facebook and if you want to watch for free then you can just subscribe my youtube channel where the video is uploaded first but if you really want to enjoy some of the studies which i always create and it is already there on leeches then you should take the subscription of this page which is really helpful and i am publishing a lot of opening traps middle game strategies and some wonderful games where you can just improve your chess skills uh multiple times so see you soon in my next video but i just want to thank flippy zika and luisa for their contribution to my channel they are getting married in upcoming few months and i want to wish them 
हैप्पी मैरिड लाइफ सो सी यू सून इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो